what is up guys this is Karan here back with another video and after a long time we've installed Havoc OS v3.7 which is based on Android version 10 as you can see with the July security patch it's officially and unofficially available for a lot of devices I'll provide you the link in the description for all the supported devices as official build and some other devices which have unofficial build I've installed this unofficial build on my Redmi Note A and it's just working very very smooth in this video I'm gonna share with you how's the camera, how's the Antutu score, how's the Geekbench score, Gcam working or not and what is the stock camera, all other things. Make sure to watch this video till the end to understand everything, just don't miss anything. I'm gonna share with you what is safety net passed or not and some other things too. Now let's get started. So first of all we are gonna start up with the home screen and the launcher and one thing if you can notice here we have a little bit of change here when you go to settings we have different launcher this is not launcher this is not pixel launcher and this is actually shady launcher by skull shady i don't know about the official build but for my redmi note 8 we have shady launcher pre-installed which has some customization options which include some home screen customizations which is all the same features like pixel launcher but with extra little bit of customizations we have app drawer where we get the app prediction options and little bit more things grid option to customize icon pack you can customize i am using the pixel icon pack which is working very fine as you can see it's just working fine here we have these kind of these kind of home launcher here and if you talk about the quick settings as havoc os is one of the most customizable custom room it has a lot of things to customize we have a lot of quick setting tiles here which you can add I have the FPS info option so if you can notice we have FPS right now at the top of the left which is kind of great thing screenshot we can choose the partial or full we have the focus mode tile option available we have the AOD you can record screen up to video bitrate up to 20 mbps and audio source all these things internal and microphone and I have never this gesture from here let me just tell you by swiping right from here I will see the quick settings right now just swipe down you will see expanded quick settings but when you swipe around from left side it will not do this I have enabled this in settings this is one of the great features we have dark theme screencast and all other things are available here other tiles option are available also included in word colors and some other things which means there are a lot of things you can adjust the columns columns landscape rows and a lot more things i'm going to share out some all other things with you too so now let's move on to some other things so i'm going to share out now with you antutu score and the geekbench score antutu and geekbench score both are for my redmi note 8 so these are not compared to any other device just don't compare these kind of things these scores with your device I have 1,67,621 Antutu, Antutu score which is one of the great things. This is just awesome in the terms of performance. I'm using from some time, didn't got any single lag. Quick silver kernel is pre-installed for Redmi Note 8. You can install a custom kernel like Inception kernel and some more. And if you talk about the Geekbench score, the Geekbench score is not that much great. We have 310 is the single core and 1281 is the multi-core score. Single core is good but the multi-core is not that much good but it's just the score. So if you want to notice these things you can still and if you don't want to you can use because the room's performance is nice. Didn't got any lags from some time battery backup is also fine and talking about some other things let's move on to the first of all magisk manager let me just tell you about the magisk manager's safety net status i'm using the latest magisk 20.4 which has some issues with cts profile so in havoc os especially for redmi note 8 it's just passed safety net is passed as you can see safety net checks the success is true CTS profile is true and basic integrity is also true and if you talk about the place settings and here we have the device is certified so all these things are fine and these are the things enough to install this custom room on your device now let's move on to the camera we have the 
default camera is this one this one is the mi cam which i have installed and we have second camera which i have installed the gcam 7.4 on my device so let's start off with the default camera this is the default camera which is mi camera for redmi note 8 that has 48 megapixel cam option available we can use a portrait mode also night sight option available here panorama and pro mode all these things are fine here and if you talk about the gcam I'm using Gcam 7.4 which is just perfectly fine here all the features include HDR, HDR plus and when you go to settings we have the Google lens suggestion options available and these are only available in Gcam 7.4 and advanced we have HDR plus control, disable Google photos and some other things include HDR plus enhanced frames. You can select up to 35 frames and some other things audio auto white balance exposure compensation lip patcher etc so these are the things we get here if you want to install this gcam on your device if you're using android version 10 then i'll provide you the link in the description so that you can use that now let's move on to some other things as this is one of the most customizable room ever for any device so which means it has a lot of customization options so let's move on and let's take a look at briefly all these features because these features are a lot we cannot show you all these features one by one so network and internet connected devices everything is same here apps and notifications it has a screen time option which was expected also in battery you have the option of choosing the smart charging which is quite good thing and display has the same things like dark theme styles and wallpapers it have some things let me just tell you in clock settings we have little bit of different clocks i have chosen the divided lines option mnmlx box and some other things included so you can choose the things if you want to screen timeout and rotation has the customizations also you can rotate your device to 0 degrees 90 degrees 180 degrees or 270 degrees quite great thing all other things are same here sound storage privacy include all these things are same like all other rooms let's move on to the havoc os customizations so we are here the configuration center which is the havoc os customizations and as you can see status bar quick settings lock screen ambient display buttons a lot more things are available to customize so let's take a look at the brief right now status bar have the option to configure clock and logo some gestures like brightness control by sliding over to the status bar is one of the great things which i personally like a lot network speed carrier label some battery customizations and some icons options are available which are available in all other custom rooms also it has some little bit of extra things like logo have a quest logo and we have other logos also i've chosen the beats one at the status bar and as you can see it's just working very interesting looking Moving on to some other things, some quick settings customizations, quick pull down from the right and like this, you can see it's quick pull down, it's enabled and working fine. Battery estimates, we have the header image also, as you can see I've enabled the header image, it's working fine. Tiles customizations include columns, landscape, portrait and quick bar, rows, landscape and portrait and some tile title and some little bit more things are available here. We have lock screen customization options include double tap to sleep, media or music visualizer, pocket detection, error vibration, authentication vibration, some other things are available here. We have the ambient display which has always on display. It has some other things include double tap to phone to check time, pickup, hand wave and pocket. These depends upon your device so if these are working for you then it's fine if these are not working for you you have to compromise with that buttons include the hardware buttons and navigation button which has power menu customizations and volume button customizations which include playback control which is one of the mostly used feature in all other custom rooms and all other things include gestures swipe to screenshot it is perfectly fine and yes it is other things include navigation sorry notifications where we have the edge lighting option it's also perfectly fine heads up notifications and things are there battery saving customizations screen customizations animations and some miscellaneous and above and these kind of things you get in havoc os latest 3.7 based on android version 10 
so i hope you like these things installation is pretty same so no need to worry about anything this was all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day